Welcome to the Alchemistic Laboratory. In this tutorial we're going to make the helmet of Magneto from the X-Men series. Once in Blender we can put some materials and it will look something like this. So now let's get started with it. Ok, first things first. Let's delete the cube and we go to the front view. And now from here we can just drag and drop our image reference. And we just move it on the x-axis to the center. Now we go to the side view. Ok, now the next thing to do is just check that these lines are touching at the same height. So that means it's correct. And now we can just grab them and press M and lower the material opacity to around 30% and front only. Great. So now we can just move these images. This one we move a bit to the back and this one a bit to the side. Ok, we go to the front view. So this helmet should be relatively easy. We just need to draw some control point curves. So let's start for example here on the top. Just draw one line horizontal and then we can just draw some points down here. Now I would like to have the same points on the floor. So for this I just go around this area down. And we can just accommodate these points. Ok, now we go to the side view. Another control point curve. And we draw it again horizontal and then these next points we can draw here. And now on this last point on the floor I press shift. And I just draw it down somewhere here. Again we move the points. Try to do it with more peace at home, not so fast like me. Now we need to make the other line. So we grab another control point curve, horizontal and click around. Here again, shift and we draw it somewhere here. So something like this. So now these two lines, you will see that they are not on the center, so we just move them. They are intersecting the set axis. Ok, great. So now from this is pretty much straightforward. We grab these two lines, extrude them to the back. Now we grab again these blue lines, hide them. And now we grab the black edge, the blue curve and the black edge. We press L to loft. Now it is correct in G1. Except we delete these other faces and this we can just mirror with alt X, mirror on the X and join. So now we have our basic helmet shape. I suggest we start cutting these lines here. So for this I'm going to make a control point curve, draw it from here. Now here I need to be careful, I would really like to be just above this edge on the floor. So I will cut somewhere here. I just grab this line and accommodate it. And now we grab another control point curve, draw it somewhere here and continue until here. This we move down. These ones we can join and we can press C to cut and accept. So now we can grab this part and you see that now we start to have a shape much more closer to the helmet. Ok, what is next? I suggest we do the same for the, the eye area. Ok, so we start with a control point curve. And let's draw something from here. So we just draw some points around. Ok, now we have our curvature. It should be somewhere like this. You can refine it if you want later. So I'm going to imprint it. And I will have this shape. Now these details, I think they are much better, at least from here to here, if I just do it from the front view. So I will start by making just a line that goes from here to here. And here I will snap it to this um, edge that we just imprinted before. I'm going to mirror it so that I have both sides. I'm going to imprint it. 
And there we can just grab these faces and delete it with Shift X. So now we have our visor. We can just grab and delete these lines with X. And there we have it. Now, if you want to be really picky, you can maybe from the front draw these lines so that it's intersecting somewhere here on the top of the edge. But this is only if you want. We can do it later. Okay, now what else we can do? We just continue with these details from this. So I graph control point curve and I will start drawing from here maybe. Something like this. I grab these lines, move it to the front, join them. I will need to grab this curve and draw another curve here. Join them. And I continue down here as well. Now we grab all these curves, join them. I'm going to make this object without any redundant topology. And so now I grab these lines and these ones, imprint them on the helmet. And now we have our details. If you want, you can perfect this shape. So now I think it's a moment to grab a curve, a control point curve here and just draw it somewhere where we make a little bit of a tangent. So I would say somewhere here and maybe as well here and we'll graph from this point, make the curvature at around here. So we grab these two lines, we mirror them, grab these ones, join them and we can imprint this. So from here, we can grab this face and this face, delete it. And this curve, we can just delete them. So now it looks much more like our front view. Okay, now what I would suggest to do would be to give some volume to the helmet. So I will select this object, press F and thicken it. And we can just thicken it a bit inside, maybe something like this. Doesn't look so bad. This we can hide a moment. So once we have our helmet, we can start and press these faces. We check that everything is selected and we can press again, thicken. And now we thicken it outside. Now let's Let's press redundant topology so that now that they are much cleaner and better. Now this part is not convincing me. So let's see if we can make a bit softer. And we also with control, we can select these two edges. Now this would be much better. You can also round these parts if you want. So that this is not so aggressive point and here as well, just a bit. Okay. Now our helmet is looking quite cool. It looks really, really like the Magneto helmet from the comics. Okay. Now what we need to do is we grab these objects and make a chamfer. But if you watch carefully, there will be here, especially here, I think would be a trouble because this is so extremely tight. And if we want to make a chamfer, I'm quite sure it's going to cause some trouble. So see, for example, here it will go way, way strange. So if we want to fix this, something we could do would be, I will toggle the X-ray. And here, this line, I need to make it rounder. So I will grab this side and this side too, and just chamfer this. Something like this. Uh, maybe it can work here. Okay, so we press three to craft all these faces, which in reality is only two faces. 
and we can just convert it to edge with control 2 and let's make the soft chamfer now it doesn't look so bad maybe i exaggerated maybe a bit less now with a bit less it looks quite quite cool now i think i like it everything seems to work and there we have it now we finish our helmet let's see what else we can do so we have these objects so these curves i think we no longer need them we can just delete them and we need to draw this object okay so for this we can just draw a line you could also experiment and just draw whatever else so i'm going to mirror this now this face i grab these lines and this face i'm going to make it a bit extrusion and we do the same for this object so a control point curve somewhere here and here I go to the end so these lines we can just unite or combine them with the line select everything and join so now we can extrude the face so these lines we can delete now we no longer need them okay so now we just need to glue these pieces to here okay so we can for example grab this one put it somewhere here we can mirror this grab this and move it to the back somewhere here okay so now we have these pieces we can grab these faces and make them a bit thicker that they are really really close to the helmet okay something like this so now we have our helmet of magneto uh, but there are some details still so there apparently should be a line here but for example what happens if i just come here and make like a, a gem something like this this looks much better so I will leave it like this, I will grab this face, convert it to edge, and make it round, a bit rounder. Yeah, this I like. Then I grab this one and make the same, a round one. It should be like a gem or something. So I grab now these faces, do the same, control 2, and we just make a detail like this. Don't find it so bad, so I will continue. Grab these faces, convert it to edge, and make it a round one. And here as well. There, I like it much better like this. Now, these little horns, I can maybe make it a bit in the back. I'm just experimenting here how how it looks better. Okay, I think it's too it's, it's good enough. Okay, now we have our helmet. I think it's finished finally. It's looking quite cool as you see it's not so much complication and let's so now we hide the images and we just grab a line and we make it the same thing we always do okay so this helps to give these illumination bounces bounces let's put our illumination I'm going to delete this light and I'm going to make my own light. So I grab um, area light, grow it. The intensity we put at around 100. We duplicate these lights, something like this. Okay, so let's try to see the materials. I will make now some quick materials, but if later in the future you want me to go more in depth about materials you can leave it in the comments below and then i can start making some tutorials probably so if you're interested please let me know otherwise we can just continue with this kind of quick materials so for the moment i think it's okay i will leave it like this let's make it a render a quick render and see how it looks okay after tweaking a bit the environment i just rotated a bit i came with these results which i am thinking it's looking quite cool i like it a lot and remember, if you want me to go more in depth with the tutorials in Blender about materials or whatever other thing you want to learn, please write it down in the comments down below. 
and I will do my best to bring these tutorials and other things you want to learn. So now the render is thing it's ready, and I think at this point we can say excluto ad aureum. Until next time, thank you.